dance club. That the rule was we had no bands play, and then this band Guns N' Roses wanted to play, and Faster Pussycat, and you know, <laughs> everybody wanted to play. And if you saw the movie The Metal Years, the cliche of it being about raunch and roll and sleaze and debauchery, and us going there to meet girls and get free drinks, that honestly was why it started. We had no idea that it would take off to be what it did, but obviously it ended up being very, very successful. And I've been wanting to do something like this for a long time. And I talked to John Reese from Live Nation. He said, dude, I want to do a big cat house show. I want to do a big cat house show. Ah, well, whatever. So I gave up on rock and roll, moved to North Carolina. And then John called me, dude, let's do a cat house show. <laughs> okay, so I partnered up with Live Nation. And we have put together what I think is a really, really cool rock show. We kept all the prices really low. And I know it's going to sound like a cliche, especially now that I get to the promoter position, but the main aspect of this whole show is for people to have fun. We've got a bands from all different types of genres, from bands that sold millions of records, for bands that sold 10,000 records. I don't think every band sold more than that. But, but bands that were just really important for the Cat House. Um, I'm very proud of the lineup that we had. I'm very excited to see what Gilby's going to put together for the All-Star Jam. <coughs> Uh, a lot of the bands, a lot of the bands, I hadn't seen for a while. When I show up here and I see, you know, the guys in Junkyard, Little Caesar, to me it's like a homecoming to see these guys. And, and Black and Blue was one of the bands that played the first cat house. And when it came to putting on Sebastian, Tom Keeper, and Extreme, it was kind of a no-brainer because it's not about just bands that played the cat house. It's a band that represented a rock scene. You will never hear me use that term, Caramel, because I hate that term. But what we played is, we, all, all the music is different here, but we all played really cool rock and roll. The problem is trying to put this into a venue that will fit 15,000 people and also include the sleaze and debauchery that we had at the Cat House. So we're working on that. <laughs> and that's going to be fun. That, and uh, you know, we've got a choppers out. Rupees is one of the things. And uh, I didn't get the opportunity to thank all the bands that are playing it and all these people for showing up. But I could not be more excited. It feels good to be back home because, like I said, I don't, I don't live out here anymore. But uh, I'm really, really excited. For a lot of people, it's going to be a homecoming. We had VIP packages that sold out, honestly, within two minutes. And they were mostly bought by people from out of state and somewhere out of the country. So I take the show myself with my ego very personally. When I see something Cat House, it represents me. I think if you go to another show, and the show isn't great, you're not going to get mad at the person putting it on. I think if this show isn't great, you're going to get mad at Ricky Rackman. And if this show fucking rules, hopefully you know, you'll be stoked. So I know a lot of us are talking, especially us three, and we're doing things to make this show really, really cool. And we really want to have a good time. And uh, thank everybody for spreading the word on the show. And I could not be more excited. I know a lot of people are working hard. And there's a few bands on this bill that I've never seen before. And a lot of bands that I've seen so many times. I've been from the junkyard and getting up for drink tickets because I haven't been asked after them over, <laughs> over, over a decade. So uh, I'm really, really excited. And surprising for the lifestyle that everybody standing up here needs, I think we look all right. <laughs> now, last night we did Battle of the Bands and the Whiskey, and one of the bands that is playing is a band called Swamp Hammer that I believe showed up at the Whiskey with a fan. And uh, the fact is that, that two bands were from Vermont. Oh, it's doubling up. Give me this out of town stuff. It was not a popularity contest. It was a band that I thought was really, really good. And I saw a band that I think would play the Cat House. And I'm excited that they're going to be on the stage and they're all here tonight. And uh, just thank everybody for showing up. And uh, all the people, we, I, I really want to thank the Mad Berries for letting us <laughs> listen for the Battle of the Bands. Billboard. So when I see pictures on the internet with Cat House and the rainbow sign in it, it's just like, it couldn't be more perfect. Because probably most of the bands here at one point have been thrown out of the rainbow. <laughs> so it's nice that the rainbow and whiskey have kind of partnered up with us. And uh, we're very, very excited. And uh, I, I guess, are there any questions we can ask some of the people? Uh, can we introduce later? some of the people in the, that are here? I don't know. So, <laughs> so I know we got guys from... Uh, the Swamp Hammer guy, James McBride, I've never been in SMH. You know from Extreme, obviously. We've got the guys from Junkyard over there. We've got Stevie Michelle from Tuck. We've got guys from Little Caesar. Um, obviously, Taming 
and uh, Tammy was my roommate when I started the cat house. I wouldn't have the cat house if it wasn't for Tammy, which wouldn't have let me bought me the headbanger's wallet. I hate to give this guy so much fucking credit, but I owe him, I owe him a lot. Gilby Clark was there since day one and has always, at the drop of a hat, been able to play any show we put on from the time that he was just in candy <laughs> to the point that he was in Guns N' Roses. He's never let me down. So, uh, and I have, I have good stories with most of the bands here. And I'm sure we'll have good stories. And what I didn't tell the band is, I didn't tell any of the bands here, but I'm, I'm making a rule that there's going to be no encores. And because everybody's got such limited time on stage, forget the encore stuff. Just play rock and roll. No, and no, we're going to no, have no, a whole no whining. What? No drum solo. No whining. No drum solo. No <laughs> but, uh. Ricky, from the band, you thank you. Oh, thanks. I thank you. I mean, I'd love to. I just happened to be lucky enough to have bands as friends that just ended up selling a million records. So I got to just ride on everybody's coattails and all the other bands that, that played the Cat House. You know, it, it was great. And uh, I, I, I could not tell you how excited I am, how happy I am to be working with Live Nation so we can do a show like this on a much greater scale. Because if we did Ricky Rackman's Cat House Festival, it'd be a really good show in front of about a thousand people. But because we're doing it with Live Nation, we're bringing in some bands that I was not in contact with, bands like Extreme. And we're also doing Irvine Meadows and do not cut Verizon because we all went to Irvine Meadows and it's going to be called Irvine Meadows for that night. And again, thank you everybody. Post the hell out of this thing. Tickets are, are real cheap and uh, so are we. So, so, so thank you. I guess if anybody has any questions or you can talk to the band.